Oh, well, g'day there, this is Barry, VK2FP. I'm about to show you how to use a Nano VNA as a grid dip oscillator. Now, people have said, why do you need a grid dip oscillator when you've got a Nano VNA? Well, grid dip oscillators are very, very useful things. I've used them in the last 50 years that I've had my amateur license, VK2FP, which is the only call sign I've ever had. Got it in 1975. Well, I picked up this. Grid dip oscillator from the St George Amateur Radio Club last week for a very good price and as you can see it is in excellent condition. Not a mark on it and they are still a very very useful piece of equipment. You can use them as absorption wave meters, signal generators. As a grid dip oscillator to check the uh, resonant frequency of a coil or a tune circuit. Wouldn't be without one. Now to use a nano VNA as a, as a grid dip meter, you use the SWR setting and you calibrate the nano VNA for the frequency range you wish to roughly test the coil on. In this case, I'm testing out a 14 megahertz trap, so I calibrated the nano VNA between 5 and and, and 30 megahertz, and um, and I'll show you how I've actually done it. Okay, as you can see, we have the Nano VNA and I have calibrated it from 5 to 30 megahertz. And that's the trace on SWR. And you can see where the cursor is at the top, sitting on 30 megahertz. Now, I built a pickup coil for this uh, grid dip oscillator, which is simply a piece of coax with an SMA connector at the other end which I got off eBay which I cut it in half because it was a male to male and I wound five turns of wire 20 gauge wire about two inches in diameter and uh, for higher frequencies you'll have to use uh, less turns but I'm trip I'm dipping a trap that I made for for, for the 20 meter band 14.3 megahertz now if you, uh, it's the wrong thing to do. If you're going to make a trap for the 14 megahertz band, uh, it should be below, it should be below the frequency you wish to trap out. Okay, you can see that the coil is um, a bit of a distance away from the um, from the trap. Now, as I move the trap closer, I'll move the uh, coil a bit closer to the trap. Try to stop it from falling over. And you can see there is a dip. Well, lo and behold, it's actually dipped to the resonant frequency of the trap. So I'll get my cursor here and I'll move the cursor and see what frequency it's actually dipping at. And getting closer, 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 closer. And bang! 14.25 megahertz. So that this nano VNA is working as a grid dip oscillator and it's that easy now if you want to now this is the first one I built the coax lead arrived in the mail today from eBay so I've only just built this put heat shrink around the uh, termination of the coax there the next one I build I'll make it for the higher frequency so I'll probably get some more I only wanted to get one at first to see if it worked and it does and uh, that was the box at the of the meter that I got the DM81 and I'm still going to use it, believe me, very fine piece of equipment. And uh, But that's, that's the way it is. So 73s from Barry, VK2FP in Heathcote, just south of Sydney. Uh, QF55MV if you're interested in looking at where I'm at. And uh, thanks for watching, 73s from VK2FP and uh, also have a USA call sign Alpha Golf 7VC, AG7VC, 73s, and catch you later.